As I write this letter, I sit and stare at the miracle of new life that God has so graciously blessed our family with. So many changes in mine and Cindy's life in the last few days. I'm amazed how that eight pounds and seven ounces has changed my perspective on what's really important. Myla has got me wrapped around her little finger already. My dad always said, if I knew that grandkids were this much fun, I would have had them first. Well, he was right. Looking at her tonight, I realized that while I am smitten by her, she could be placed in anyone's care and grow to love them just as much as she does me because she is too new to know any difference. Myla can't comprehend my love for her just yet. She has my DNA, my blood, my future, and my destiny. As her little fingers wrap around mine, it's hard to grasp that one day these hands may hold my feeble hands as time transfers life from me to her. As she lay snuggled against me tonight, I listen to her every breath. Once in a while, she'll squirm and make a little noise that sounds more wonderful than a choir of angels. As my eyes trace her perfect little features, her tiny chin, rose petal lips and button nose, I'm reminded of the words of Song of Solomon when the Shunammite woman asked to describe her lover's eyes and she referred to it as his eyes are like the eyes of doves washed in milk and fitly scent. Every breath that I breathe caused her little fine black hair to move. Without a word or a hint of recognition, this tiny little girl has conquered my heart. And then it struck me, my adoration for my life is only a human shadow of God's love for me and God's love for you. Now I know why the gospel says that he never slumbers or sleeps. He looks at us through the heart, a heart that beats with love and an infinitely greater capacity than ours. And even when we don't recognize it, his heart yearns for us.